I'm Jason Ferrante. I'm singing the role of Goro, the marriage broker, aka Pim. Um, my role succeeds when all of these other guys deliver their information clearly because I spend a lot of time standing around gathering information so that I can gossip about it. Um, I like doing this role because it, it suits me vocally. It sits pretty low, <laughs> so it's a um, it, there's not a vocal challenge. It's, it's a role that I can do and really think about the theater of it. And um, and he's quite good at it. Mm -hmm. yeah, Best I've ever seen. Tear it up. Wow. Wow. You can you can print that. Um, <laughs> I think he was the Goro in the premiere. When was that? Yeah, I was. Oh. I was. Oh. Shirley MacLaine was the Jojo. Shirley. <laughs> <laughs> um, Johnson. I'm a mezzo. I'm singing the role of Suzuki, who is um, Cho Cho San's maid, servant, slash slave. <laughs> no. Confidant. Friend. Confidant, best friend, sister of sorts, closest person to Cho Cho San. It's a very um, special role, actually, in my opinion, dramatically. Vocally, it's not a huge role. But dramatically, it's a very important role to the sequence of events and to the whole uh, drama of the opera. She's the closest person to Cho Cho San, and she, anything that happens to Butterfly really happens to her. They experience the poverty, the desertion, desertion? They experience everything, all of the emotions of what happens, anything that happens to Butterfly sort of then also happens to Suzuki. And Suzuki and Butterfly have a very special relationship, and of all the relationships of the characters that happen in the opera, it's really the only true human friendship closeness. Go for it. Yeah, right. Uh, my name is Grant Youngblood. I'm a baritone, and I sing the role of Sharpless, the council, the American uh, council there in Nagasaki. Um, my role is, he's an older man, um, he's, he sort of plays or presents the, the more bass, calm side of, uh, of the character in the, in the course of the show. He's always trying to put the, the brakes on, uh, on Pinkerton's natural exuberance. Uh, so he's sort of the voice of reason, you could say, in this production. So uh, it's a role I enjoy doing, I've done it a lot. Arnold Rawls. I'm the, one of the tenors in the show, singing the role of Pinkerton. I've worked with Grant several, on several occasions, enjoy uh, collaborating with him. He's usually the voice of reason. I'm usually the, the young, exuberant tenor making poor decisions throughout the show. Um, and Pinkerton is no different. He's a young naval officer um, going to Nagasaki to enjoy everything Japan has to offer, one of which is Butterfly. I don't think he's a bad person. He's just a young man uh, enjoying life and not looking at the consequences. And as the show progresses, the consequences seem to get greater and greater. And once he realizes what he has done, he is very remorseful, but it is much too late. It's pathetic. It's pathetic. <laughs> but I do enjoy the role because it highlights the, the nice aspects of my instrument. Oh, wow. <laughs> Edit that out. <laughs> Is, is really built around the score and his music. The music is foremost and let's say primo in this production and that's refreshing in the age when the, the stage director and the production is king and the music is secondary to what's going on on stage. I feel that the music really is the, the driving force behind this. It's beautiful, uh, minimalistic kind of production I think but with such gorgeous um, set scenery that um, the music is just highlighted with what we're doing it in. Yeah, it's going to be a very colorful production with this really cool projections and the way that our costumes blend in with the set, the set itself and the scenery is going to be really striking, I think. I think that it's a, it's a very, it feels uh, very real, this production, 
and I think that also has a lot to do with Leslie. She keeps it not on this grand kind of opera, operatic reel. It's more really real human emotion that happens. <clears throat> that I also think I attribute to my colleagues because it's a really special, it's a very special cast. I mean, I think, myself included. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I was talking no, but, to but the, rela guy. the relationships that I think happen on stage are really um, uh, intense. And especially, especially when we get into acts two and three, it becomes very, very, very intense. We have a Cho Cho son who who has all of the fundamental requirements of the role covered before she even opens her mouth, mm -hmm. which is not always the case. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we know that she has a beautiful voice, and, but she totally looks the part. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, in opera, we can bend that sometimes, <laughs> but um, <laughs> this is such a specific role physically. And so Maria is butterfly before she even opens mm -hmm. her mouth, mm -hmm. and that doesn't. Uh, well, I would say it's, it's, you know, a very, very human, story. These aren't, you know, gods and demons and kings and emperors. These are very human people that you can see, you know, probably elements of yourself in, both the good and the bad. Um, the music is just stunningly gorgeous. I don't think Puccini could write a bad tune. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's, it just grabs, grabs at the, the emotions, tugs the heartstrings, and I think it really pulls you in. You can completely relate to the, the predicament that these people are in. Yeah. And how there aren't really any quote unquote villains in this show. There's Julie? There's people, uh, <laughs> there's people making bad choices. Yeah, okay. mm. Well, this is a great first opera for yeah. someone. Yeah, there's, there's, like, there's yeah. like five operas that I would say are great first operas. This, this is, is certainly one of, one of them. Yeah. So one the story, the music, everything grabs you me from, the, from the downbeat, mm -hmm. grabs That's you and pulls you in. And so it's a, and then you're in for the, for the long haul. <laughs> and that's it's a great opera, great first opera. But not really. And long. it's not that long. <laughs> that's what I think.